Hi ladies, hi gents. Um, last video for today. I want to get these filmed. Um, I've still got another couple more to do of these, hopefully when I find time. Um, and then hopefully I haven't got too much more to do rather than sort through stuff and pack it up ready to ship to uh, the hall where the venue's been. Um, Held. So what I did is I got some plain cotton uh, stockings and I just wanted to alter them in a variety of different ways from very very simple, um, well you'll see. Uh, so this is the first one. So you can see it's just a plain cotton um, stocking and I just added a couple of dangle trims up at the top. And then this beaded um, braid trim, really cute, quite sim, very simple actually, very very simple. Um, kept the rest of it plain, and just had this this detail. At, <coughs> excuse me, at the top. Love this um, teal colour on here. So um, these are also for the art show with the view to these um, being for sale and some of them I done left hand, some I done right hand and some I decorated all the way around top um, again another very simple um, top to this one a couple of layers of gathered uh, vintage lace with a few smaller dangles in between here I didn't put any under no few smaller dangles and then this one on the top really cute um, and simple to do so that's that one um, the next one I had these hanging up as I'd done them this one I took the lace a bit further down the stocking so I used a wide lace, a couple of wide laces, and then dangles, and then um, this uh, little lace, and then a braid trim on this one. So there's like um, five different laces on there. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So that goes further down the stocking on this one. And I did carry that through to the back as well. Um, then I thought, you know, I do all this work with uh, uh, the creams and the tea dyed and the white laces and I thought, you know, I'm going to do a couple of these stockings with black lace because there's a lot of teenagers out there that like the darker colours, you know and you don't often see a lot of... Um, Christmas stockings in the black and that and I thought well oh, I'll do a couple with the black lace. So this one has a very long black dangle uh, trim on it so it's nice and long and then I had this beautiful uh, trim from when I done my gypsy uh, lace book with the dangle with the flowers really really delicate with the archways at the top and I thought, you know, I thought that is, you know, very different to what you would see in the shops. And, um, you know, it might just capture somebody's um, imagination. You know, it's very, I don't, it's not gothic, but you know, you know, a lot of teenagers are into the darker colours and, you know, so I just thought, you know, I was going to try it and I'll see, I, I will see what the feedback's like on them, actually, when I do the show. Um, so I did carry that through on both sides. So we'll see how that goes. Right, so i actually done two with the black. Um, again, this has a long dangle and it also has another lace on it. So we've got the long black dangle and then these droplets of 
black lace and then the cerise roses at the top. Like that. And that carries through both sides. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> the next two, I had two very large flower appliques that I had uh, bought. So I've done this. Is this the left or right one? This one. So I added the beautiful embroidered applique. These are normally bought for adding to dresses, t-shirts, collar pieces, but I thought it looked so stunning on this stocking. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> I absolutely love how this one turned out. Just adding that big applique to this stocking is just so striking. And it does wrap over onto the other side where the applique was so big I thought I'm not going to cut it I want to pull it round onto the other side but I absolutely love that one it's so simple but yeah it, it's just striking uh, the next one is also an applique piece that I had in the pinks in cerise and um, Again, I just loved it. It just is so different. I did add all the individual ribbon roses onto each of the flowers on this one. So it's a bit more 3D than the last one. Um, so I just toned in the ribbon roses to suit the colours within the applique. So there is like dim dimension on these ones where I've added all the ribbon roses onto it and that has again carried over onto the back as well so I'm super thrilled how those turned out and the last one I still have a couple more to do in this kind of theme this one is a fairy theme one now on this one I did actually cover in this beautiful very very pale pink fabric and I did add a braid trim all the way around the outside uh, this beautiful um, pastel dangle trim at the top with a few leaves and then the braid trim around the top I will lift, I'll do it now lift it up and show you and I carried that round the back as well but obviously I just put um, the fabric and the image on the front now I used a flower fairy image which you know I love the flower fairies so I used that and then I layered up this embroidered fabric round it cut it into sections and layered it up all the way around the image um, to uh, tie in the beautiful um, fantasy fairy colours on this one. And I love um, the full uh, covered stocking, but obviously um, these take a lot more time. So I do want to do another couple that's full on as well, um, because you know I want to go from something simple to, to the full on covered stocking. Um, but obviously these take a lot more work, so um, I think I've got two of these stockings left, so I think I'm going to do another two. Um, I might do one with a, a vintage lady and maybe one, I'm not sure if I've got any Peter Rabbit uh, images left on fabric. Um, maybe a Peter Rabbit one, I don't know, but I want to do another couple like this that's the full the full works um, because I wanted I, want to, I wanted to try and cover you know lots of different tastes and not just stick to you know my um, uh, whites and creams but we'll see we'll see how we go <laughs> 
So I wanted to share those with you. How many have I done so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I've got two more to do. I got ten of these stockings to alter. And again, these are all to take to, you know, the art fair and, and just, or the art show, and just try and cover as much taste as possible and see and see what happens and and you know you never know somebody might just love the uniqueness of them being so different to what you can get in in the stores over here um, but we'll see I'm not I'm not uh, perceiving <laughs> anything before I do the art show. I'm just going to go and see how it works out. <clears throat> so that's all the altered stockings. If I get the other two done I will try and share them when I get them done. Um, but thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think and hopefully I'll be back soon with another video. Bye for now.